Hello and welcome, dear viewer, to a little more little powder video. That was a dumb sentence. Anyways, um, today I looked at the commit history of powder and I looked at the AST file and I noticed that we had this to do here, which is to parse slash correctly. That, by the way. Um, yeah, so we have this slash parsing comment, and that has to do with the lexer, where we don't distinguish between slash and slash slash at the moment. So that's something that I want to do today. I just want to um, deal with the distinction here. So, and maybe we want to start by looking at the next character. So, so don't we have like state dot next of kind? What does that do again? Um, oh, that advances. Well, we don't want that. So. Maybe we want self current position that's public. So I probably want a special function for this. We call that char at. We just want to call it look ahead again. Or do we want to modify current char? I don't actually want to modify current char. Let's call it next char, which takes in a look ahead, which is size, and that returns char. dot nth self current position dot um, map uh, no 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 map or error Like, yeah, uh, I already forgot how this works. Um, we want to have actually, let's just to the option char thing here, or maybe let's like do the error message thing that we do everywhere else, like, especially in the parser. And we own that thing. Dot. I think it's yeah, it's okay. Or. And we want to call a function. Okay, or else, which is lazily evaluated. Uh, okay, or else, yeah, so we, uh, if we get a none here, so if we don't have a value, we just want to, like, like here, uh, with the unwrap, we don't panic because, like, this is a programming error when we hit the current position, but maybe there's like, not the next, there doesn't exist a next element. For example, if we have a slash at the very end of the file, it doesn't work. So we want to uh, properly deal with that by just saying, okay, if we don't have another slash after this, which might also mean we don't have any characters at all after this, we can just 
uh, handle the single slash. So, yeah. Error message. To old. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that's now next char one. Slash. So that's the maybe slash. Actually, think about it again. I don't think we need to have an error here. So that's all null and void. Next char one. So let's yeah, let's just use if let some maybe slash is next char one. Uh, may and slash. the slash then we want to do all the comment handling and now this will tell me that light expressions are forbidden so let's re-enable them Is that not allowed? Uh, am I too dumb for this? To the create attributes. Oh, this is the create main file. What is going on here? Do I just need to restart the Rust server? No. Hmm, what am I missing? The inner attribute. Oh, I can't even scroll up. Like, like, look at me. I can't even scroll up properly. I thought this was the beginning of the file. Ah, oh, that was the... Yeah, feature lad chains, feature test. Should work. Now this is not properly formatted for some absurd reason. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so in that case we have a comment. Okay, cool, we have the comment print. We can look at that later. And then let's else token start push token start the end is just start plus one code is a code although I think that one doesn't exist or does it uh, oh right that's the entirety of the code so let's have token type now we need that new token type and we can uh, let's just handle it here although we don't need that right now and Oh, I need to actually pass. Okay. 
hát rosszam. Um, Clip he wants us to do this. So yeah, let's let's try this out by having something like this. So let's run that on oops, I need to actually run it on a file. Now that is looping infinitely. Um, we found a 78. So did I forget to advance? I think I did forget to advance. Because yeah, the all the other ones. Okay, that was done. Okay, let's state advance at least. Okay, now, yeah, that, that actually, yeah, that, that likes us perfectly fine. Get a slash. And the comment is still found. Great. Um, that's actually just for checking. This is, of course, not syntactically valid in any way. Uh... Should have a comment in here. Yeah, okay, so we have a comment here now. If I put a space between those, it should be two slashes. Okay, cool. If I put the six like this, it should still. Yeah, okay. Great. Um, now we actually need to handle that in the parser. Should be rather simple. Uh, the parser has the um, let's see what that is. I start in the AST. Oh, that's in the AST. Oops. Uh, divide. So now, where is that? Is that called? It's called here. So I think I need to add that to the list of things in here. Yeah. So that should give us, hopefully, a little something like this, where we have a binary, op binary where is that binary operation defined. Fantastic! I mean, that's it. That's all I wanted to do today. I think these shorter episodes are rather nice to show you how. How far this is all like how modular and flexible this is that I can just add things like another operator in in like no time at all. Probably way too much time. I don't have I can't look at the recording time right now, but let's write some comments slash exer slash exer slash next char and do that. Uh, let's actually make sure that this thing is formatted. I don't have an auto formatter set up yet. Maybe some of you wants to do that. I would greatly appreciate it. I mean, I can do it myself, but if someone likes playing with pre-commit, I wouldn't mind it. Okay, that 
is also something we want. And we also want this. And we also want this for testing. So let's actually run the test just to be sure. Tests pass. So uh, as expected, because the tests are just running this file, but it's good to have a file that tests all the current capabilities of the um, of the parser and the lexer in some way. So yeah, we have this. So let's bootstrap. Division in this form because we assume that every slash s to a comment. Oh, that's silly. Carrot Discord Discord moment is trying to write a Discord emoji there. This is still too long. God damn it, Linus Torvalds. I love Git, but I hate your 72 lines. <laughs> Let's commit that. And with that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.